How's it going there, YouTube lads and all sorts of social media lads? Welcome to an all new video. This video we're going to be doing a review of a fifth film in a series of sci-fi made-for-TV films that was really fun and enjoyable, so we're going to get right into that. Before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so miss this video or any other videos I put up. As always, people, if you enjoy my content here on YouTube, definitely check out my other social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Rizzle, wherever you like. Definitely check it out. Cybernetic Shark. Oh, yeah. As always, let's get right into this. Welcome, one and all, to an all new video. So, like I was saying before, we're going to be doing a review of a fifth film in a series of sci fi made for TV films that are quite interesting, enjoyable, over the top, and just fun entertainment. And that, of course, is the film known as Sharknado 5 Global Swarming. Oh, yeah. Sharknado 5 Global Swarming. Yeah. So, in the fifth outing of the Sharknado series, once again, we got Sharknados popping up again, but this time it is really crazy and really advanced and even more interesting. Now, once again, we are happily directed by the Mr. Director that goes by the name of Mr. Anthony C. Ferrante! Oh yeah! Anthony C. Ferrante! Woo! Anthony C. Ferrante! Woo! So of course, Anthony C. Ferrante, like I've said before in other films, he's done a lot of TV writing, a lot of TV made for movies, done a few actual theatrical releases and so forth and stuff like that. But once again, he proves that he can keep directing these amazing fun films. And like I said before, you know, each of these Sharknado films gets better and better with the budget, gets better and better with the look and everything like that. And this one, once again, improves on the last previous four. And Anthony does a really good job of bringing this one even more into the craziness with really fun and just really just all around a clever processing, you know, idea, bringing time travel and portaling into it, bringing, you know, the Sharknados to a whole new level and stuff like that, which was so much fun. And overall, I thought, you know, Anthony did a great job of bringing us this great fun film that... He directed so beautifully. If you haven't seen anything Anthony has directed, definitely check out Sharknado 5, Global Soaring. He does a really fantastic job with it. So once again, we have a great ensemble cast. As, as usual, we have several people returning uh, from previous installments and, of course, a lot of great cameos. We got cameos in this from several uh, reality stars in this one, several British actors, you know, and so forth and stuff like that. Now, of course, the start is, off, is our hero himself, Mr. Ian Zering! Oh yeah! Ian Zering! Woo! Ian Zering! So like I mentioned before, Ian, he's a huge TV star. He has been in a few feature films, and it's just all around a fun actor, really enjoyable, and just is always fun to watch. Now, once again, I, I like I can't say this enough, he keeps improving on his character in each of the films, really evolving his character of Finn Shepard and bringing him full circle. In this one, we see another side of Finn. We see a more emotional side. We see more of, you know, him thinking more about specific things and really wanting to get things done and, you know, just preserve what he knows and loves. And, you know, Ian did a good job. Ian did a good job of just bringing to life Finn and giving him even more of this evolution. And you get to see the thought process that he went into trying to make this Finn character be seem so believable, so realistic. And he just keeps doing that in every level and brings in a greatness to this character. Now, of course, you know, he has there's a lot of overtop things he does throughout these films and stuff like that, but they're always fun and just really amazing. Now if you're not familiar with anything that he's been in, such as, you know, 90210, Mel, or something like that, definitely check those out, too. He just is really superb in them. But overall, I just really liked him in this. Once again, he is Finn Shepard to the T. He's so awesome. He's so amazing. He is Mr. Finn Shepard. If you haven't seen Mr. Ian in anything, definitely check him out on Sharknado 5, Global Swarming. He was really good. Another actress returning to her role in this film, uh, she was not in the fourth one, she was not in the second one, but she returns in this fifth one, is none other than the beautiful and amazing Miss Cassie Scarbo! Oh yeah, Cassie Scarbo! Woo! Cassie Scarbo! Miss Nova! Oh my god, 
Nova is so awesome. Every time she pops back up in these, she is so amazing and fun and so enjoyable. And I am so happy whenever she pops back up in these because she just is a great character and just all around really well acted by Casey. Now, Casey, like I said, she's been in, you know, feature-length films. She's been in directed TV movies and stuff like that. Just all around a really fun actress that, you know, brings really fun to her characters. And she really brings a greatness to Nova and really has evolved her character, too, over the years. Now, with Nova in this one, I really enjoyed how she took it to a whole new level and gave us, you know, basically kind of gave us a background of what she's been up to since the last time we saw her uh, in Oh Hell No. And we, it's really fun that, you know, she, every time we see her, she's, she's on this kind of this one track mind of trying to eradicate all the sharks in the world because of an incident that happened to her but yet in each film it gets a little more a little more intense but at the same time she still has a great heart and she wants to do what's right and at the same time she has a very determined agenda to do and she brought that to the forefront in this film and it was just really enjoyable and i love the evolution of this character of nova all around, really great performance by Cassie. I thought she did a fantastic job. Really enjoyed her back in the film series and overall a really exciting performance. If you haven't seen Cassie Scarborough or anything, definitely check out her shirt in 805, Global Swarming. She is really amazing. The last person I'd like to talk about was a great addition to this film series. He didn't have super huge part in the film, but still was very enjoyable for what he had in this film. And that, of course, is the great comedian known as Mr. Chris Catan! Oh yeah, Chris Catan! Woo, Chris Catan! Oh my god, Chris Catan rocks. He's so awesome, so freaking funny. From Night of the Roxbury to, uh, you know, his characters at SNL, Mango, and him playing Gollum on SNL and stuff like that. Uh, from his, you know, turn and Big Brother and all that kind of stuff. He's just an awesome amazing actor and i absolutely love this guy he is so fantastic i love his pairing with will ferrell they worked so well together but a great movie that he was in that came out of back in the early 2000s that's just so enjoyable and is such a great character is the movie known as corky romano oh yeah corky romano yeah absolutely love him as corky romano it's so fantastic so well played and he plays corky to the t so many great scenes in that film, so funny, and Chris just brought him a life and gave us this really well-rounded, great character that was just so funny and awesome. If you have not seen Corky Romano for Chris Kattan's acting, definitely check it out. He was super fantastic in the film. And definitely check out the film because it's just an all-around great film. But all in all, I really enjoyed Chris Kattan in the film. He was a really great, you know, longer uh, full-length cameo in this film, and he just played the Prime Minister to the T. He was so funny, did a British accent, and overall just was really fantastically done. Uh, if you haven't seen Chris Kattan in anything, definitely check him out Sharknado 5 Global Swarming. He was really superb. So what is Sharknado 5 Global Swarming about? Basically, this time around, their new child, Gil, Finn, and April's, basically gets swept up into a Sharknado, and the rest of the film is about them trying to save him and get him out of the Sharknado and, you know, save the world. Basic premise, basic thing, but this movie was so much fun and so enjoyable. There's some great scenes in this film. Uh, I mean, of course, you always had your great, you know, shark-killing scenes and all that kind of, you know, jazz and stuff. Of course, there's a great scene, you know, where they're all saved and stuff like that, and, you know, there, of course, there's always the great fin shot where he's cutting a shark in half, or cutting sharks through the center, and stuff like that, that's always fun, we get some great scenes of, you know, Cassie doing her thing, and April doing some of her things, and stuff like that, and so forth, and stuff like that, I mean, just, just a lot of great scenes, a lot of great action sequences, some great one-liners, and stuff like that, they're just so much fun, if you have not seen this film yet, definitely check it out on Prime Video now, it's really worth the watch, uh, 10 golden movie boxes up on this one it was so much fun really enjoyable and all around a great film so that's it for this movie guys always thank you for watching thank you for liking also thank you for subscribing if it's your first time here or you have been here before don't forget to check out any older new videos you may not see me yet as always people if you enjoy my content want to show support for the channel definitely check out my awesome links that will either from my patreon page or if you're a patreon member you get all kinds of outtakes bloopers outtakes extras stuff like that says and what i do next and all that kind of cool stuff so definitely check that out and also if you're a huge horror fan definitely check out the horror pack link where you get great horror films every month and either 
Blu-ray, DVD, or 4K format to your door every month for a great low price. So definitely check that out, too. As always, people, catch you next one.